Hi, everyone. Hi. <clears throat> Ian's here. Zach will be here shortly. Karen's standing next to me rubbing her hands maliciously. Ugh. Ugh. And I was staring at my face maliciously. I know what the cream smells like, woman. All right, I'm going to join this game. Okay, I'm going to punch the air. So, um, apologies. I thought I was going to be 30 minutes late. Thought. Do you want to hear my excuse? What's your excuse? Um, so Maggie had an exam tonight. And our okay. tradition is I can't make noise while the exam is happening. So I can't cook dinner. So usually we decide on what the like the celebration dinner is. And then I go out and pick it up or we have it delivered. Mm -hmm. So I went to Cheesecake Factory. And I gave myself plenty of time to go there, get back, eat dinner, and then join the stream. But Cheesecake Factory basically let me sitting at curbside pickup for 30 minutes. What? Until I finally walked inside. And I was like, where's my food? I've been sitting here for 30 minutes. And they're like, oh, let me see if it's ready. And then they go in the back and they bring the bag out. And it was like... I hate like it had that whole system where they were like they texted me they're like your food's ready just let us know when you're here and i was like i'm here i'm in this car i'm in this parking spot 30 minutes <laughs> nothing so i wasn't sure if i would finish eating but i finished eating like five minutes ago so did you talk to the manager no because i wanted to get home and not be a you know your dad got like a 25 dollar gift certificate by oh that's right that happened to, to him manager. too that wasn't even COVID times Anyways, power complaining. Um, tonight's the night when we all die. Oh. Right? I'm gonna go cut. Okay, oh, we gotta so, cut some trees down. Yeah, let's cut some trees down to get extra spikes so we can lay them down if we need to. I gotta finish building this entrance. We need a bunch of. I have sixty-eight arrows. Yeah, I got like a hundred billion. What what else do we do? We need to make some medical supplies. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. <clears throat> Basically, we should probably keep looting because we want to find like blueprints, recipe books. You want to earn mm -hmm. XP to level up. Gotcha. I'm gonna right, well, I'm gonna try and street. finish looting this town. Um, <clears throat> how's your week been, baby boy? You know, it's been okay. Just hanging out. Um. Not much else. Been playing, uh, playing some Rim World still, as usual. Uh, Karen and I, uh, pretty much maybe every other night we do like maybe an hour of Deep Rock. Um, I just want to promote a character and see what like the deep dives and stuff are like. Um, and it, plus it's a fun oh, game. Yeah. It, it like just works with crossplay, and yeah. the lag is such that she can have the tv audio out and i can have my pc audio out and our characters say the th things at the same time oh that's nice which is kind of you know, i game, mean it's, yeah it's game pass that so. too yeah yeah um speaking of game pass i just downloaded that call to the sea game mm -hmm. call of the sea today but i haven't had a chance to play it because Big video games are coming out. Big buggy video games are coming out this week, Ian. That's right. Cyberpunk. So you were saying you're going to wake up tomorrow morning and do the New Zealand trick. Is that right? I might. I, I don't know. It's I, It just updated. So uh, if you set... We're on the East Coast. I set my Xbox to New Zealand. Went to, <clears throat> if you go to the store for Cyberpunk, it now says for me, unlock December 9th at 6 a.m. Um... Oh, because you said it's New Zealand. So the weird thing is, when I checked it the other day, it was saying for me, I, granted, I didn't download it, but I just checked the store page. It said December 9th, 9 p.m. Weird. Yeah. So that's that's why. But I'm looking at the store page on the browser right now, and it's telling me midnight on Thursday. So, so long story short, I really don't know what the unlock time. New Zealand will get you there earlier, but I, I still don't really know. Yeah, so as far as I could tell, it was supposed to be midnight, and then Cy uh, CD Project Red changed it, and they said, no, it'll be console will be local time, your time, um, regardless. Gotcha. So I don't know if that the math works out, and that is 6 a.m. tomorrow, but that is what the Microsoft store told me. Uh, I'm going to check it in the morning. Um and that will be dependent on whether or not 
I'm feeling okay enough to go to work. You know, I, I'm not going to say that doesn't sound right, but when I did that for Fallout 4, I remember it being... I think it was like a day and a half early. Yeah. But it was like it was like 6 or 7 p.m. the day before, if that makes sense. So it was like 30 hours early, whereas you're describing it being like what? You're Just describing it being 16 hours. Yeah. Which is which the time maybe... difference. It is. They are 16 hours ahead. Oh, they are 16. Okay. Yeah. As someone who's been to New Zealand and had confusing conversations with people. Back okay. Home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who got to yeah, celebrate their it's... birthday twice on Facebook? Um, that was back when I was on Facebook. I need uh food and water desperately. Oh, I have a bunch of water on me. What am I doing? So yeah, um, I don't. Do you want to get into the cyberpunk stuff yet, or we don't, we don't have to? Uh, it's just you know, it's kind of what we talked about, where it seems like it's it's really good, but also very buggy yeah um kind of kind of the only complaint i've heard outside of that the only legitimate complaint i've heard outside of that is that a lot of the open world feels i don't want to say empty but it doesn't feel like you can actually go deep into the open world mechanics it, yeah. they're still kind of streamlining you to pre-made quests whether it's a side quest or a main quest but that even though those quests are really well done you're not going to have a lot of that emergent gameplay that you'll get with like a GTA. Yeah. Which I think mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. The, I think Jeff Grubb decided, described it as set dressing. It's very good set dressing. Yeah. And I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with that too. And then, uh, what was it? the other quote I really liked was, oh, I lost, what was, what were the words you just said? You said open world. Oh, uh, the other quote was, this feels like a glimpse of what open, someone said this feels, cyberpunk is a culmination of what, open world games are now not a look at what old open world games can become yeah yeah i heard that as well so that i thought like, that was pretty pretty good that's that's a little worrisome in a way but i'm okay with that i think uh, in yeah, a cause... sense they meant they took the best things from all the because uh, i remember the fallout was they took the best things from all the open world games and put them together and not tried to innovate newer good things about open world games yeah, and, and I was hoping they would innovate, but at the same time, right now, I'm happy with a very polished version yeah. of a 2020 open world game, you know? Yeah, and also you think about it, they started development, what, seven years ago? Not that that's still the same version they're working on, but it makes sense that they might have thought they were necessarily innovating back then, but other people beat them yeah. to the punch. And, uh, yeah. yeah, so I, I finished off, uh, I finished all my death threats to the reviewers today, so... Hopefully they get those. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, people are stupid. People are very stupid. Ooh, I was. I'm looking forward to looking. For, I love Yeah, I was looking forward to playing this game today. And I will have you know, I was stone cold sober when I was just said I was excited to watch the game awards with you on Thursday. Sure, you were. Uh, I I cannot. I'm very excited. <clears throat> it's gonna be. So, I just hey. remembered how dumb last year was. <laughs> yeah. And I saw they announced Christopher Nolan was gonna announce a thing. And I oh. just got so happy. <laughs> my my goal for this year is to like. It's several years in a row now that I have just. Well, it's it's like four or five years in a row now, but twice now on live stream that I have just crapped on that show to the extent that I have gotten Jeff Keighley's attention on Twitter by crapping on that show. <laughs> And this year, I'm going to do my best not to crap on that show because at this point, it's not going to change. Right. And by that, I mean the, the format. It's just, it's a bad format. It's very disingenuous. That's not going to change. So I'm just going to try and enjoy it. Yeah. It's just, it's crazy. I know. Also, if I was running a show like that, not in person, I would have just, they should... Well, maybe they will do this, but just pre-record everything. Yeah, maybe right? they will. That's what I would do. I would just... I would... <clears throat> for Thursday night, I would be Jeff Keighley. I would go Wait, live... Wait, they do that for Gamescom, though? 
I don't know, but I, I, night live. I would go live and I would just hit play on a two hour thing I, pre I just finished rendering. Yeah, like Devolver does. Yeah. Or like, Devolver did for this year. Seems like the smart thing to do. I was, uh, Chris was telling me the around the monitor plans and it was all like, take a sip during this, take a shot during this. And I was like, I do not want to, it, no, it wasn't that bad, but I'm like, I'm just going to like make a mixed drink and enjoy it. <laughs> and yeah, like probably make it through the whole thing without falling asleep. <laughs> That's a good point. Cause it is like three hours long. Isn't it? Yeah. I was like, if it was a Saturday night, I would consider doing something like that. But <clears throat> I'm like, I got to go to work in the morning. I'm also an old man. So, yeah, you, know. you are an old man. Physically and mentally. Yeah, pretty much. But not pelvically. No, sir. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, let's, let's make some health items. Okay. Do, do we have... I mean, I'm just trying to make food. If you want to make... Um, oh, there's a bunch of rotten flesh over here. Oh, dang it. I thought it was a trough. I mean, I thought it was a farm plot. It was... All right, you know what? I'm near that swimming pool, I, and I've got some empty jars. I'm going to go. <clears throat> yeah, I think making food, and then let's make a couple, like a bunch of bandages. Okay. Just investigating this barn. Ooh, I just got first aid bandage schematic. Ooh, perfect. That worked out. I got black dye if you want some of that. It's aloe cream and cloth fragment. Oh, there is aloe. Um, it's not aloe cream, but I bet there's a way to turn it into it. I'm searching a barn right now. Any zombies? Oh, really? Oh, the other thing we need to get is a wrench. Uh, I think I just got one. Oh, perfect. Because with a wrench, yes, we can just got you use that on cars. And we can get springs and oh. mechanical parts. So then we can make a drawbridge. And then... Oh, someone's better. Oh, wow. That was... I, I did the... I had a stack of empty jars. Oh, yeah, it does the whole thing. Does the whole thing. Immediately. Loved it. Yeah. Oh, that zombie broke his ankles. Oh, my goodness. Those trees blew up. Okay. Oh, zombies can climb ladders? I didn't know this. No, they, sh they shouldn't be able to. Well, he's walking right up it. <laughs> Uh oh, because that was one of the tips I saw online was switch to ladders as soon as you can. Oh, that, he did the splitsies. The slippery burpers. Uh oh, uh oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, got him. Um. And I think uh, at least one of these parts we should pack up and go to try to find a big city. And go loot like a, a big building. Oh, yeah, we can do that. What do we need the wrench for? Uh, you use it on cars. And like, bi oh, and like washing working. machines and fridges. Does it break uh, them down faster or does it get them working? It, it, that's how you get like mechanical parts and springs. And stuff. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah. I actually got two wrenches from that. Okay, I'll come grab one. I'm gonna bring stuff back. I found an anvil too, which I think goes in. Oh, all these trees grew. Um, I think an anvil goes in the uh, workshop thingy. Yeah. So I just need aloe vera leaves. There should be some in my case. If you didn't take them already. Okay.
Okay, I need something. I have pat. Do you have leg armor? I have some pat. Oh, you've leg already armor. got apple cream. Um. Yeah, I already have padded leg armor. Gotcha. I should repair that though. That's a good point. I'm gonna make some corn. Plenty of water. Good. Door not. Crap. <gasps> Karen gave me a platter of cookies. That's why I love you. Give me. Mm, 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 mm. Ian, is there a food that you think you can eat enough of to then vomit and still be okay eating the food? You mean eating it after eating the vomit or, or continuing to eat it? <laughs> continuing to eat, not eating the vomit. Unless your answer was vomit. <laughs> Man, can you imagine how frustrating that must be if you like to eat vomit? Because you gotta like, you gotta get to the point where you produce vomit and then you eat it. You know, that's like the age-old paradox of if you get turned on by your own flaccid penis. Hmm. I think that's a that's an ancient Greek one. <laughs> no, Karen. <laughs> Karen just goes. Does it make you gay? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> well, if you like looking at yourself in the mirror, then call me a homosexual. Uh, <laughs> that's the best. I mean, okay. Um, okay, I've got paper. Oh, you had a... Where was the extra wrench? Oh, I'll drop it right here. Well, you know what? I'll put it in this chest. Oh, you know what? That's another thing I forgot to look at was the uh, cash out time. I'm also going to put that just said five. Oh, take it. I put five bandages in there, first aid bandages, but that's for you and Zach. Okay. Oh, this running flash here. Yeah, at some point we gotta organize all this stuff. Uh, what was that beeping noise, Ian? I think that was the microwave. The microwave, Zach. Oh, hey. He's asking in chat. Zach! Get in the game! <laughs> uh, Zach, when you get in the game, come organize everything. You're always so good at that. He'll be here real soon. I think my what, nephew what is was the, being sorry. a bit of a fussy boy. It's 9 p.m. Day 7, right? So we have basically like 24 hours, something like that. Okay. I was mm -hmm. worried it was an hour or two no. away. Oof. I have a cooking pot. Do you want that? Uh, you can throw it in the fire. I think they stack. Uh, and Zach told me to put the anvil in the forge. I have done that. Now we can build more things. These cookies are good. I have these bandages, but I guess all they do is stop bleeding. They don't actually heal you. Yeah, they'll stop bleeding. Like the, I think the more advanced ones heal and stop bleeding. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to go beat stuff with this wrench. I was just about to do that, too. Actually, I, try I, and like... I think you can use it on the computers down in the basement. Yes, you can. I just got parts. Yeah, so we need springs and I think... Let me look up drawbridge again. Re uh, reinforced drawbridge. 20 springs and 30 mechanical parts. 
Mechanical is from uh, cars. Oh, it's day six already. Yeah. yeah, these are getting me electrical parts. Yeah, so I'm excited for Cyberpunk. I'm ready. I um, I know, okay, look, this is a slight change of topic. I know we're playing Sandbox now, but I feel like you've been wanting to do a vanilla Minecraft. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should do that for the end of December because I took off the last two weeks of December. Wow. Um, and, you know, I feel like that's just a good time for us and the Subpixel community to just have a Minecraft server going. What do you think? I'm down. I love Minecraft. Yeah. And that, that'll be nice, easy streams around the holidays. I mean, we could do other ones as well, but to just do... Because the other thing we wanted to do about this, now that I think about it, was we wanted the server to be up for several months. So this is not a... Like, this sandbox is condensed in a way because we're continuously playing the game but i think that one is almost going to be like a once or twice a month episode type of thing yeah i'm totally down yeah but i just know i'm going to have a lot of time and i'm going to um i, I kind of like that idea of around the holidays i have a lot of time off and i've got podcasts to catch up on so i kind of just relax for a while and just plays perfect podcast games in a way, you know? I gotta catch up on some podcasts, too. I think we need more food. Yeah, we definitely need more food. I, um... I started those farm plots upstairs, but we still don't have enough... Uh, they haven't finished growing A, and we don't have enough B. Oh, yeah. Hi. Uh-oh. Hi, guys. Hi, butt boy. I heard that we had 24 hours to get ready for day seven, so. It's actually right. tw and, like 24 hours to live. And we uh, beat the game. Oh, pick up time. Perfect. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm just going to go on mute till the hiccups go away. Thank God. I hope they never go away. Uh, Ian, I don't know if you have any interest in this for maybe a one-off stream, but my brothers, um, in their infinite wisdom, have decided that we might start playing Red Dead Online as our next fun time game, which I don't think oh, is going to be, uh, and not in a, any serious capacity, because I watched Karen play that, and it ruined her life. Um, Wait, what do you mean by... How, no, you gotta expand on that there, baby boy. No, I mean, it, like, it takes a lot of effort to, like, grind and actually play the game, rather than just oh, goofing off. Nice. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if they've changed it since the last time she played, but uh, it's only $5 on Steam for the online. Which Oh, right now? Yeah, which isn't bad, so. And we're gonna, we're gonna play PC? Yeah, PC, Steam. Okay, got it. Yeah, so maybe I'll buy that then. I figured I would I do offer... think we need to... We need to visit that at some point and then quickly become discouraged with it and never play it again. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Zach, <clears throat> we're collecting some uh, mechanical parts and stuff now. Cool. Just letting Night, you know. night, goose. <gasps> Bye, baby. My sweet nephew. Bye, baby, boy. Yeah. Well, Uncle Will said goodnight. Oh, and your antagonist, Ian, said <gasps> oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get you one day, baby. I'm gonna get you. Oh. I'll oh, never right. let Ian near the baby again. <laughs> oh, there's a uh, there's an axe in here. Or anvil. Oh, I got one spring. Dope. Yeah, thanks for the hot tip, Zach. You're welcome. Glad I could be of ass astens. Breaking corn plants for corn, free corn for life. Lachaim. Okay, I'm making a bunch of secure storage chests. Okay. Yeah, let's. We should start organizing. 
I'll organize. I heard you say that you needed someone to organize. Yeah. Oh, last time we asked if there are signs in this game like there are in Minecraft, because that always helps. I think there are, but I can't quite remember. Why am I always so hungry? I know, it's like this food is just not providing any sustenance. I am just eating full corn on the cobs. Oh, the tree. Oh, our Christmas tree grew, guys. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. It's a little crappy, but it grew. Okay. Coming upstairs. I forgot I can just scrap stuff back down into uh, other parts. A lot of gasoline. What's this new storage chest going to be, Zach? Uh, so this one right here is going to be food items. And health too, or just food? Uh, Health too, yeah. Um, this one is jammed. Oh, did you not unlock it? Oh, yeah, sorry. There you go. Thanks. I'm going to put some more corn on the, the grill. Yeah, we'll do health in there too. Are we running out of wood? Why can't I cook more corn? Oh, that's why I can't cook corn. Oh, uh, Will, I think my answer is tiramisu. Tiramisu. Oh, that's not bad. I like tiramisu. Oh, shoot. Uh, I didn't put the monitors for Shelby. It will be 30 seconds. Be right okay. back. Bye. Speaking of monitors, my four monitors came in. Oh, that's nice. Are you doing two at home? Uh, how are you guys putting it? So I put two at the studio. I have two here. I haven't set them up yet. Um, I'm going to research some mounts. Because I think I'm going to put one above, for now, at least one above my big monitor. And have stuff up there. Oh, yeah. So my recommendation is Amazon has some pretty good mounts. They're Vivo, V-I-V-O. Yeah, I Those are the ones that I have. Okay. They're, they're Visa. I mean, I hope the monitors you got have Visa mounts on the back. Yes, um, they do. So so they have, a, they, they have pretty cheap ones. I think I only paid like 50 for my two stack, which is two vertical. And then the other thing I've done is I paid like 20 bucks for just a normal monitor stand, but with the visa mount on the back, but it has like a 16 or 20 inch pole. So that way you can take a monitor, replace the stand and raise the monitor much higher than you normally would be able to. That's smart. If that makes sense. Yeah. Ugh. I led these people back here. Crap. Uh... I think they're dead now. Oh, I got a wood splitter. Teach how to craft this item. Heck yeah. Um, so yeah, I would I would recommend those. That's that's what I use. They work really well. Gotcha. Um, well, you you have two monitors right now, right? Yeah, I only have these two. Uh, yeah, I have my long boy and my. I think this other yeah. one's a twenty three or twenty four. Yeah. So I would definitely go one above and one to the right. That's what yeah. I have. It's basically three on the bottom and then one up top. Um, okay. Okay, What? What's? where's the mechanical stuff? I'm going to put it in... Uh, this one over here already downstairs. has a bunch of mechanical stuff. but Yours? Yeah, mine is. The one is. you put down, Will? Okay. I have five springs. 
But there is a chest down here if you just want to put it down here. Yeah, let's bring all kind of iron and brass and... Downstairs. Yeah, and repair kits. And bring gunpowder down oh, there. I'm in this right now. We just throw all this stuff in here. Oh, yeah, wooden sign is nails and wood. Is there any reason to not put iron and stuff in the... Fire? I don't believe so. Copy. What the heck is this? Oh, uh, Zach, oh, I don't know if you grabbed it, but there's some first aid bandages for you. Okay, I saw that. Yeah. I am starving. There's food up there. All right, so for right now, this big chest to the left, I'm literally just dumping everything in it because... Yeah. Yeah, I'll coal down food. here as well, and then broken glass. Yeah, coal can go down there. Yeah, we can just spend the night organizing. Oh, let me look up wooden signs. It's uh, wooden nails. Oh, wooden nails. I'll go make some nails. I, mean, uh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have put all these boxes up here. I should put them downstairs. I feel like this food system is broken. I've eaten ten corn on the cob, and it's just like not really. I mean, I yeah. understand it's slow, but at the same time, I think it's just the cow of a quote unquote calorie count Doesn't it? Oh, cool. Does it show the repair cost? Oh, no. I feel like it doesn't. I can't see it. Oh, no. Yeah, it only, but it only lets you repair it if you have what you need in it. Yeah, but that's the thing is, I don't know what I'm missing. So oh, that is weird. Oh, it, it, uh, go to your go to the journal description right next to it. So there's stats at the item, and there's yeah. it says repair with small stone. Man, I just made it wrong. Do you see that oh. in your inventory? Yeah, that tab. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that's a little annoying. Dang, we got six exploding arrows. It's crazy. Zach, is this a big enough sign for you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's party up. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's so... I realize there are different sizes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> uh. So Zach, they Actually, changed the like system. You make you like design things now. Really? Yeah. So here, I'll I'll toss this down so you can see it. I'll put that sign up. But um, so here, I'll drop these signs. Yeah. 
So put it in your hot bar. Yeah. And then you hold R and then select the top thing and then you can choose the item. Oh weird. And then hit escape. So that's how you do it with like to make stairs and stuff. It's on that other thing. Oh. I see my new sign. Suck butts. Yeah, always suck butts. Always be sucking. Is that what you should say? George, right? Suck ABS. <laughs> That's our new motto. Always be sucking. <laughs> the letter B. Always with the Z. Letter B. There. There's our motto, boys. I'm always be sucking. Oh, I have uh, I have news. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> he like shut off for a second. What a stupid little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it was stupid. Um. So I talked last time about how there's another twenty four hour endurance race in iRacing racing coming up in in january and i haven't touched my wheel in like five or six months and i was like you know what i gotta get back in the swing of things so yesterday i took the wheel out and i did like 30 40 minutes of driving on different tracks and different cars and i was surprised how quickly i got back into the swing of things because like i racing is very intense so it's it's I don't know. It's it's one of those things where it took so long to learn it, to get used to it, where you're not crashing constantly, that I was afraid that I was going to have to start from scratch or I was going to regress. But I, I got back into it pretty quickly. So nice. I was racing for like 40 minutes or just practicing. And then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do a race. I'm just going to do a ranked, but it's like the entry level NASCAR race. So it's like it's they call them uh, street stock. They're just like slower NASCAR style cars on a small oval. But it's it's a real race. It's ranked. It's against other people of your same rating and everything. So I did that. I have a field of nineteen. I came in third place. Wow, which is the the best I've ever finished in an i racing race. That's um, awesome. And I was like, I still got it, boys. I still got it. <laughs> and, then, and then today I had like fifty minutes. So I was like, well, let me just let me just practice for twenty minutes, and I'll do another race because it was on the same track. And I did another race. This time there were 16 people. And I came in first place. I won my first eye racing race. Wow. Ooh. Congratulations. Yeah. I know. And I've done like 20 or 30 eye racing races. And this is the so I I'm feeling great. It's like I'm back in the swing of things. I didn't I don't feel like I lost anything. I picked it right back up. So um it, it's funny because everybody knows the event is happening because they line it up with the same the real life 24 hours of Daytona, but they haven't actually released details of like, this is the exact date. These are the cars we're allowing you to use. This is the track configuration, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So, so you can kind of start practicing, but I, I haven't really started practicing that yet because they haven't released it, but this week is when they're going to release the details. So as soon as they release it, I'm going to start like hardcore practicing. Cause last time we came in fourth out of like 55 teams. And this, this time I'm hoping we, we finish top three. Um, and I think we can do it because we did really, really well last time. And I think we can do even better. And honestly, I was the slowest person on the team, not by a huge amount, but I was definitely slower than everybody else. So I feel like if I, if I double down and practice even more and get even faster, then, then we should definitely do better. Um, yeah. so I'm excited. So anyways, long story short, I'm back to racing and I'm back in the groove literally better than ever. Because of my third place and first place finish, so I'm proud of you. Game's Aww. still great. Yeah. Whew. So proud. Planet's in the hot. Thanks, baby boys. Okay. I'm a little weirded out. I think I realize what I don't like about this crafting system, and it's that it's that I can craft duct tape, but I think in my mind. Duct tape is not an item you craft. It is something you buy or find. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. And that's, yeah. Th that's, that's throwing me off. Well, think about it. You're crafting um, about um, a duct tape substitute, like a type of duct tape. 
Yeah, I could see that. And it makes sense. It's glue and cloth fragment. But it's just in my head, I'm like, no, you don't. You don't craft duct tape. You find that, you know? Yeah. So that, that's no, kind of what's way. throwing me off. Oh, you can make glue out of bone and murky water. Okay, oh. so um, as far as plans for tomorrow night uh, mm -hmm. in game, we defend the walls, and then once we've been oh, sacked, we gotta finish building it out though, building out the um, the over rail. Yeah, yeah. I'll work on that. So That'll be my job. I'm gonna say. I guess we'll rush to the... I'm trying to think of a spot where we can go to and maybe if we destroy the stairs? I don't know. Well, well, you're thinking if the walls get breached, where do we rush to? Yeah. I, I think it's we rush home and then we just defend floor by floor all the way to the roof. Okay. Because that remember, works. that's where our spawn is anyways. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So I, I think we... Can we reinforce these walls? somehow yeah with iron These well bigger openings the yeah i think we can do i need to make forged iron don't we have a bunch already yeah we do yeah i think if we put at least on the ground floor these bigger openings if we could fill them up mm -hmm. buttercup baby that would help Oh, who cut down the Christmas tree? Oh, is that what that was? Wow. No, I, I was just like, oh, let me take care of it. I Christmas need is ruined this year. Because of Ian's greed. Yeah, that sounds about right. Do 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 da. Oh crap! How many feathers do we have? Uh, I have some on me. I'm making iron arrowheads to make iron arrows. Oh. So we all. I'm making 150 iron arrowheads. So I need 150 feathers. I have uh, two on me. Yeah, I have 64. There's a lot of dead zombie dogs over here. Oh, they're like uh, against the fence. Yeah, they're like messed up. They're dancing. They're doing a zombie dog dance. I think they're making love. Dance, zombie doggos. Dance. That's gross. Should I put them out of their misery? I can't even tell. If oh, yeah. I just got a bunch of XP. Oh, yeah. They were glitching out and like they were kept trying to stand up. Mm hmm. They were making dog love. Karen's laughing at me for saying they was dancing. But they was dancing. I know dancing. Making the doggy boys do love. <laughs> it's Ian yeah, and I the doggy boys. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Oh, I hear another dog. He's another dancing boy. I'll kill him. Got him. <laughs> Ain't dancing no more, doggy boy. <laughs> Karen hates his character. <laughs> he is dead now. Oh, this flashlight's great, PT Dubs. I can see these doggies dancing in the daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. Oh. <laughs> to be a dancing doggy again. Hey. Welcome. Look at these. Welcome to come on, guys, come day. over here and come see the dancing doggies. <laughs> they broke all the 
All the spikes. Oh, I have one spike I could put down. There were so many of them. They're not dancing for me. No, they're not dancing because I killed them. <laughs> I shot them with arrows. <laughs> I had the dancing antidote. Oh, no! What? In tarnation? They don't dance anymore because they're dead. <laughs> oh, no. I shot them with arrows. Oh, let me get in here and get my Oh, arrows. there's a doggy over here. Uh-oh. To the south. Okay. To the south? Oh, that's a wolf. That's not a dancing dog. <laughs> It's a Ted Dancing Wolf. What are these trees? Don't cut them down anyway. No, don't die in the spikes. Yeah, you can skin, you just... skin that wolf. Oh, I, I wonder think... if I can skin these dancing doggies. I can't... Oh, no, wait. I don't know. Oh, he just died. I can't, I can't reach him. In this oh, I can there. skin the dancing doggies. I can't reach this guy. I'm hungry. Yeah, someone needs to figure out food. Well, what if you just turn food off? Well, that would be against I'm God. Only, I'm only saying that because I literally ate like 10 corn cobs and it was like, here's 20 food. It's like, what in tarnation? Just cook some meat, Karen. Why are you so close to me? Well, you're the one that has the perk that lets you cook nicer meat, right? Yeah, so just save all the meat for me. Yeah, we'll go cook it then. No, I'm just going to eat it all. <laughs> okay, I'm going to craft spikes. Uh, not to self, don't try to say spikes in a funny accent. Oof. <laughs> hey, when are we playing due process again? They, they're updating a lot. Yeah, I uninstalled it because they had a weekly three gigabyte patch <laughs> that was really annoying. Oh, that's right. You have crap internet. <laughs> they, they like one of the things they added recently is being able to switch between weapons with the scroll wheel, which oh. I know it sounds like a small thing, but they're actually no, like fantastic. listening and making changes and stuff. You know, there's a lot of dogs over here. There's two more. One's on a rock. The country. They're not dancing. There's too many dogs. Okay, so who's doing the iron reinforcements? Zach is. Okay. Made the wrong things. I am. Well, I guess I'm just getting wood right now. Yeah, right, we I'll should be... also just put dirt on the roof to grow trees. I just thought of that. Because you don't yeah. need a farming plot. Yeah, but I think we should just leave farm stuff on the roof. Because we got plenty of trees around us. Did you get meat from that wolf or no? You couldn't reach it. I couldn't reach it. Gotcha. Unless I jumped down in there, which I didn't want to. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah. I'm just checking. Yeah, the dogs are to the Spikes. south, by the way, so just be careful over there. Okay, yeah, I see them. Just checking all these spikes. Bing. My shift key is squeaky. Yeah. It bothers Karen, apparently. Bum, 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 bum.
Bad shift key. Hey, Karen. I trouble you for some more wafers? Look at you're wrapped up like Gandalf. <laughs> oh man, I got those. Zach, did I tell you I got the 4K Lord of the Rings? Yeah, you've mentioned it quite a bit. I wasn't sure if I told you. If you want, you can log into my Movies Anywhere account, and then you can watch them. I'm good. Get this tree out of the way. All right, I think spikes are good. I really want to knock this water tower over. Is it a wrench? <clears throat> a wrench that helps you build stuff? Uh, wrench is for, uh, I think, tearing down. Okay. Yeah, tearing down to get mechanical parts and springs. Uh, I'm just making extra wooden spikes to like if we need to throw down in front of the house if they break in. Oh yeah, good idea. And you, you, uh, are we re reinforcing the spikes? What do you mean by reinforcing? So you can go up to them with like iron and uh, like build Ooh, them up to the next I... level. Uh, I think that's up to Zach. Zach, how are we doing on iron? Oh, we're pretty no. good. We could always use more. Stop. Okay. Oh. Maybe not for now. I almost scrapped my uh, level three axe. Hi, cat. I witness I you. Don't, I still don't understand the levels. How'd you get your level three axe? I found it. Okay. Ooh, I'm level five now. Oh, yeah. I'm nine. I have a bunch of skills. Seven. Thank you, Karen, for bringing me more wafers. And I'm I'm excited for for tonight. It should be fun. Oh yeah, the yeah. We'll see how it goes. Trying to figure out what perk I want to do. Okay, I think that's good. Cutting down a tree. Do, 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 do. Cutting down a tree. Trying not to pee. Oh my god, I gotta get some food. What is this stupid food situation? It's angry. He's 
Um, Karen says there's some sort of anecdote that you wanted to share on stream. I'm not sure what she's referring to. And I'm not going to push it. Real good. Push it real good. Let me go find some food. Zombie boy. Hi, zombie boy. Oh, did you fall in your little business zombie suit? What's the eating strategy? You got to wait for it to, to go away before you can eat more? No, you just cram it in your mouth and the, that counter counts up. That's the seconds of nourishment you're getting. And it'll stack properly. Okay. Yeah. And the problem is corn on the cob just isn't very like good food. We need me? to make like, I think bacon, was it bacon and eggs was really good, Zach? Yeah, I think so. A double two X. So you have the grilled meat recipe? Yeah. Okay, well, why don't you come up here and make some? How much meat is there? There's three meat. Oh, yeah. you need more than that? Yeah, I think I need five. Ugh. Let me double check. Uh, grilled meat. Yeah, five. Excuse me. I hear you, zombie. I'm running. Oh, the the seven and day seven is red now. Oh, spooky. We about to get spooked, y'all. Welcome to the spook show. Welcome to Spookville. Population Spook. Population you. What do I need to repair? What am I putting in here? So what do we do after this? We keep. Well, I'm trying to think. Is like, go like what's the progression? What's the? Is there? I don't want to say an end game, but an end state. You know, like what's what's the what's the next step and the step after that? Um. You know. All right, we know. I think we just I like I would I think we should at least do like two cycles of it cuz they do get progressively worse. Yeah, and you said you want to go to a city. Yeah. And at least level up and make a cool base and then uh, whatever the last episode is, I can try to like spawn a ton of zombies. Mhm. Mm Maybe have us try to survive. Kind of whatever we're feeling. Got Oh, this iron looks great, Zach. Oh, yeah. Karen with some hot, hot goss. In hot chat. goss coming in? How do you guys feel about sweet potato fries? Love them. I don't Love like them. I don't like sweet potatoes. You're a disgusting human being. I know. I just not hey, good. You know what I keep thinking about? Me. It's how Will's never played a Tetris game. Will's true. never played Tetris. That's not true. I have played Tetris. I've never played a Tetris game. I don't understand the difference. Exactly. Exactly. 
I've never owned a Tetris game, sat down with the intent to play Tetris. You always accidentally find yourself playing Tetris? No, I've always played Tetris in, like, other games. Like, when it's, like, a mode or something, or they, like, do a fake Tetris thing. It's still Tetris, though. It's not. It's different. But I'm saying I've never, in, with intent... No, it's like, it's, like, it's like you saying, I've never played Blackjack. I've played Blackjack in casino games, and I've played it in Yakuza or whatever, but I've never bought a, a Blackjack game with the intent of playing Blackjack. I don't follow. Anyways, I just, it's hilarious when you said that. I just, I, I think about it all the time. I'm just saying, I've never played Tetris. Is, is, is that so, such a hard thing to believe? <sighs> yes, yes, it is. Then you shall not believe. I can't say that I've ever, yeah, I've never actively played the game Tetris, but I've definitely played rounds of Tetris. Yeah, I'm, I'm not denying that. I just meant like I've never owned and like, like put in a game, but like, yeah. you know, I'm going to play a couple hours of Tetris, get better at Tetris. But I think, I think the joke goes back to originally you said, I've never played Tetris. Yeah, but that was the and first then, sentence. And then, yeah, and then when I pushed you on it, you were like, well, I've never bought and played a Tetris game for the purpose of playing Tetris, but I've played Tetris. And it's like, what? That, that's kind of the joke, is that... No, it's not, it's not you, a funny joke. You that's said a problem. statement that was preposterous and turned out to be incorrect by some weird definition of yours. I think that's where the funny joke comes yeah, in. Yeah, well... Definition of funny joke here being a joke. That is, that is funny. Mm -hmm. That's a funny one. Okay, I need to... I, um, so I haven't installed Cyberpunk 2077 yet because my new A code hasn't come in yet, which I'm not that worried about. I was thinking back to, like, I think I think I got Kingdom Hearts 3 through the same way, and they, they sent it to me either the day of or the day before. But the other thing is, through the Xbox app, and I've done it before, you can, you can install any game you want through the Xbox app onto your console, even if you don't own the game which is nice. They basically let you pre-install the game if you're planning to buy it in the future, especially the physical version. But the crazy thing is the Cyberpunk 2077 page in the um, Xbox app does not work. Like, it just throws an error when you try and go into it. And I looked it up online, and there's, like, a lot of people that's happening to where they're just like, yeah, this, the store page won't load in the Xbox app. Oh, so, like, so, like, the, the nice thing they had where I would be able to pre- install it before i even own the game i can't even do because the store page is broken but i'm not that worried you know i work from home so i'll just whenever i get the code i'll just start the install on thursday and i think it's only like 80 gigs which actually i don't know that should take maybe I, i'm gonna say conservatively that's gonna take an hour because the xbox is always a little bit slower yeah i did a uh do you want to do you want me to plant some, like, potato seeds on the roof here? Yeah, yeah, if there's room, go for it. Okay. I was just making a farm plot. Um, sorry, you uh, were saying something before. So I, I installed it. It's funny you say that, because I tried to install it through the Xbox app, and you search Cyberpunk, it shows up, you click on it, it says there's nothing here. Um, yeah, like, like, it throws an error and says, like, refresh the page. Yeah. Yeah. So I... Um, I forget how I ended up installing it. I think probably I, just through the console, right? Because you already own it. Yeah, but I was at work. I think. Oh, you know how I did it? Uh, Microsoft.com. Yeah, it says the pre-order so thing. Can't, yeah, I can't do that because I don't. Because you don't, don't own, own it. it. Yeah, can, exactly. Yeah, you can only do the non-ownership install through the app, which is kind of. I mean, granted, they're still rolling it out, but they've got to bring that to some other stuff. So yeah, so I, that's how I installed it, and then I had texted Karen. I was like, "Hey, can you just check the Xbox to see if it's installing?" She said yes. And then um, today, when I did the New Zealand thing, it downloaded another 15 gigabyte patch, uh, which apparently people were saying that it just keeps patching because I think they're just throwing patches out. Well, that's that's a good sign. 
Which I don't understand. They the day one patch isn't out yet. But they no, said I think they, the day one I think the day one patch is out, but there's an additional patch because my understanding was reviewers had the day one patch. They were provided with the copy and a day one patch, but then they're planning an actual another patch on launch day. Right, because I think they they called it day zero patch. They like swap the names uh -oh. once they put it out. Oh well, they may have, yeah. But uh, I think I think in terms of like the patch that the patch that they work on between the game going gold and the game being released is already out there and with reviewers, but yeah. they are planning another patch on day one. Yeah. So kind of sounded like they planned on they were trying to patch the early game and like we're getting working towards patching the later half of the game. Which that makes sense. I mean, when we when I was in QA on Elder Scrolls Online, we always paid a lot of attention to that like first 10 hours, which was like there's like a, a cinematic quest that every player goes through. And then there's like three main starting areas. And it was always like, you know, we were trying to test everything, but it was always like, hey, it's super important that that first 10 hours of gameplay, that content is super polished. Because because once you get players hooked, then they're going to start excusing bugs. Zach, you have iron, right? Yeah, I've got a little bit. Actually, no, never mind. We don't need it. I was going to say to reinforce the wood, uh, but if they're the, if the wood has the same amount of health as the fence, so it doesn't really matter. Hey, do they get hurt if they're attacking spikes? Probably not. Yeah, as long as they're in the spikes, they're getting hurt. Oh, okay. Because you see, like, some of these holes in the fence. I was trying to them. figure out. Yeah, but what should we do? Should we fill them with wood or fill them with spikes? I What's filled the them with wood. Track? So they're standing in the spikes trying to break down wood. Got it. Okay, got it. So, like, that hole right next to you, I would fill yeah. the closest one to us with wood. So it's hitting spikes trying to break a piece of wood. So because otherwise spikes? he could just walk right through that airplane. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you know what I mean? It's over that yeah. way. Yeah, I'm out of wood though. Okay, um, yeah, you, you, someone want to go for that? Yeah, I'll go for it. Can't be that yeah, far, it's, right? Yeah, uh, it's not that far. It's on the other side of the forest, but I'll go for it. And Ian died out there, never to be seen again. Do you need spikes anywhere? Um, I don't think so. I was, I was holding on to extra spikes to throw down if they break breach somewhere. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna put spikes at this door. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that right now. Hopefully there's food in that. I know. <laughs> Let's hope so. Yeah, I'm surprised there's not... Usually, like, we gotta go out and find, like, elk and stuff. But I haven't really seen them that much. You know? Yeah. I saw one elk. Oh my god, this crate is actually kind of far. I'm still making my way towards it. Making my way downtown. Yeah, this is some perfect timing for this uh, stream. Well, I'm thirsty too. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go grab all the empty bottles and make. Uh... Oh, you're kidding. Grab water. I think making corn on the cob consumes the water and the bottle. Oh, I can see that, because you have to boil it. Yeah, which I am definitely not okay with. Yeah, especially since it's not a great food item. Okay, six empty bottles here. Okay, turns out this crate actually pretty far. 
right? I think it's like a kilometer away from us. I'm almost <laughs> there, but still. You'll make it back. It's only been an hour since you've left, so. Yeah. Just don't dilly dally. Dilly dilly. Hey, Will, what happened today? Hmm? Karen wants to know what happened today. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all? Uh, nothing at all. Although, as a matter of fact, I did, like a champion, carry six 12-packs of seltzers up the stairs and then promptly wanted to die. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Oh, well, you know, we can figure out how much... You know, we got some time. Let's figure out how many pounds that is. So a gallon of water is eight pounds. It's 12 times six is 72 ounces. How <laughs> many... I just like your thought of, hey, there's a lull in the stream. Let's do math. <laughs> How many ounces are in a gallon? Uh, that I don't know. Hey, Google. Uh oh. How many ounces are in a gallon? One liquid gallon is 128 fluid ounces. It's at 128. Wait, so. <laughs> Six times 12 is 72. How many did you carry up? How many packs? Six packs. So six times 72 is 432 ounces. How many did it say was in a gallon? Hey, Google. There's 64 ounces. ounces? 428. One hundred twenty-eight. Okay, so four thirty-two divided by one twenty-eight is going to be like three and a half. So you basically carried about twenty-eight pounds. Nice. I'm really I really strong. didn't mean to demean you with that, but that's not a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty only twenty-eight pounds. Yeah, because it's a gallon of water is about eight pounds. Water. I gotta look this up now. Yeah, do it. I'm assuming twelve ounce, twelve ounce cans. Well, the, yeah, six, it was a twelve ounce, 70, seventy-two fluid ounces per pack. You did six packs, so that's four thirty-two ounces divided by one twenty-eight is it's like three and a half. Oh. <sighs> And they do not list. Details. OK, I made it back. There's like a can of salmon. I think there was another first aid kit. Oh, I guess I have a broken bone. Half a pen. No, thirty six pounds. Right? How, how'd you get to thirty six pounds? A can of soda is half a pound. Oh, no, no. Wait. A can of soda is 0. 0.8 pounds. That's almost a pound. So 0. 0.8 pounds times 12 no, times 6. If you're doing that, then you're up to like 70 pounds or something. It's 57.6 right. pounds. That's not right. Yeah, because I used to carry 42, 40... I used to carry 80 pounds of apples at Whole Foods. Anyways. Uh, 57 pounds. Don't oh, mean to sound demeaning. All right. I put some... What was in the crate? 
Nothing. Uh, some food, some eggs, some shotgun shells. I put a bunch of stuff in the cooking crate if you want to make like eggs and bacon or whatever it is. Bang is a mash. Copy. Bullets. There's a can of chili. I think I'm just gonna. The only recipe is a chili dog. You know what? I'm just gonna eat this can of chili because I need it. Go for it. I cannot make anything. It's great. Do you have a bunch of, or did you just go get water? Yeah, it's cooking right now. Oh, okay. Cooking. How do you repair uh, a wrench? Repair kit. Oh. Uh, I don't. Also, why can't I? Oh, do you still have murky water? No, it goes. Uh, no, I got rid of it. Oh, uh, because that's how we make more glue, and then we can make duct tape. <clears throat> I gotta find more places to loot. I don't think I've been to this place over here. Can you um? Can you work on making food? Cause yeah, I'm making stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, that's you, Zach. I thought that yeah, was there's Will. food here. Will's the one that has the food perks, don't you? Yeah, but it's just for like a couple things. But yeah, if you just keep putting ingredients in there. I'm checking this bar. I'm going to add the corn, too. Let's see what I can make. I can make fish tacos. Oh, oh yes, yeah. Well, I can't make anything. I need you to make stuff. Okay, I'm coming yeah. back then. I, I didn't think there was enough stuff there for me to make anything. Yeah, there's meat and stuff. So we just need more meat. Yeah. Yeah, if we can get through today, then we can have... Well, plenty of time to go do things. Yeah. Oh, I think the yucca is finished on the roof. It's not a yucca. It's a uh, hops. It's not. It's a yucca. I planted it myself. Oh yeah, it is. Oops, I broke the the hop plant. Oops, sorry. Mm, I've got ice cream. Oh, I, I can't make fish tacos either. That needs a recipe. Don't we have a blunderbuss somewhere? Yeah. It should be in either in the next to the forge. Yeah, I'll check there. Because I, I just got some shotgun shells. Gotcha. Oh, the blunderbuss takes. Yeah, there should be blunderbuss ammo. Yeah, it might be in the metals thing. I put some stuff down there a long time ago. Oh, I forgot I can. Oh, there's your there's my character stats. Yeah, They're showing my food page. and water. No, I, there don't, go. I don't know what it. Oh, it takes it takes buckshot, which is lead and clay. There should be blunderbuss ammo somewhere. Well, no, it's it says 
fuck. There we go. Okay, now I got it. Okay. I'm going to go test fire this. Oh, I can't. Zach, much. can you make an iron fire axe? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out the. What oh. crap was that? Zian. It's a blunderbuss. That's a pretty good sound. I'm trying to figure out the 600 thing. rounds of ammo. I just kind of want to keep it as a backup. I unlocked how to okay. make something, but I don't... Oh, maybe I make it at the... The workbench? Workbench. Do workbench stuff show up in your crafting? Or do you have to be at a workbench? Yeah, they, they do, but they then they have the workbench item next to it. What did I unlock? It was a mod. Oh, can you make a... Do you have steel axe? Yeah, you must. I don't have oh, steel. No. I can't make steel yet. But it's there for you, right? Yeah. I need the steel tool schematics. I always see I stuff any... I've learned. Yeah. I'm going to have to rewatch the stream to figure out the thing I. <laughs> Picked up. I like picked up and learned a thing, and I don't know what it is. Hey, Will. Yeah. Where are you? I'm way out here. Why? That's hey. Ian. That's oh, no, wait. That's, that's Ian. No, that's you. No. Wait. 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 Hey. Hi. What? Hey. Wait, hey. I want to see. That's a funny... Oh, yeah, show Ian that. Yeah, come here, Ian. I think he needs it more than I do. Okay. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard a gunshot. That wasn't nice. I'm exploding arrows that I can't wait to use. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to waste them. I only have oh, six. We're getting, we're getting close here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm checking this butchers to see if there's uh, I just, any I meat. just need food, y'all. That's, that's all I need in my life. Yeah, as soon as we're done with day seven food stay away from me lady I know kung fu getting food for my friend what time does night time start Ooh. isn't it 2100 2200 22 I think so we should figure out now who we're sacrificing no who's on who's on what wall you know what I mean? Uh, I can cover the entrance. Well, I think if we do... Or we could rotate. Do southeast, southwest, and northwest corners. And then the northeast corner, we've got two people who can kind of see it. If that makes sense? Southeast and southwest, yeah. Yeah, southeast, southwest, and then the northwest corner. And then our, our blind spot is basically going to be that northeast corner but you mm -hmm. know we've got two people who can look down there and yeah so with the zombies it. they will most likely they will try and get to you the the easiest path so we could in okay. fact find out where they're where because they and they will find the easiest path and they will dig. so if we just wait they'll so probably the, all gather at, at one gate? point that we can take them out I think we should all let's yeah let's do it at in uh at the southwest corner I think is our best chances because we've got okay. a lot of spots to look over yeah. and lots of spikes. Okay. Yeah, that looks like the best. Who has uh food? I don't. I have some on me that I just found. 
I, can I am you. like flashing red star. Oh. oh, yeah, I've been that for a bit. Oh, I hear a chicken. Where are you at, Ian? Uh, I'm coming to the gate. Copy. Oh, no one just told me I was hungry. <laughs> Oh, it's dog food. I hope you like dog food. I'll eat it. Oh, I got some goldenrod tea. This NMS gets dysentery. Thank you. Okay, so if we know that they're coming towards us, should we lay out an extra area of spikes around here? No, because I think then they will go around the spikes to find the area of least. I oh, forget okay, what their gotcha. pathing is. It's weird, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we're fine. I'm just being paranoid. <laughs> I just got an email. So, uh, so my CNC machine, I noticed a little bit of play in the Z-axis where there should mm -hmm. be absolutely no play. Like there's maybe a 16th of an eighth of an inch. Oh, and, that's uh, Yeah. And so I'm doing these topographic maps. And so I've noticed like after it goes up and it goes back down, it, it kind of digs in. And if you don't know the, the topic, the topography, it doesn't look mm -hmm. strange, but to me, it's like, I'm noticing all these little things. So I emailed them. So I took apart the Z axis and all the, I took out the linear rails and all these bearing ball bearings popped out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I put them all back in. So I emailed them. I was like, hey, I'm noticing play. And then this happened. And so they're like kind of being short with me, the company that uh, support. And usually they're super friendly. Yeah. And uh, and then I told them that I took apart the rails. And they're like, Bleh. and I just got an email back. Be like, please send a photo of your Z access and we'll send you a replacement. Never take apart the <laughs> linear bear the ball bearings <laughs> <laughs> ever. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, okay, maybe you should make that a little more uh, in the instructions, because because I actually read through all the instructions of when you build the machine, and nowhere does it say don't remove, never remove yeah. it, because ball bearings will fly all over the place. So he's discovered the wondering. secret. Yeah, this email was just like, like we're sending you a replacement. Uh, uh, this is so the group sending the replacement knows what to send out. Please do not take the replacement apart ever. We do not. We don't support this. We don't support <laughs> this. It's like, well, maybe you shouldn't have play in your Z axis that I have to sort out. Yeah. But at least you've got linear rails because my system is all. Well, my Z axis is a screw. Yeah. Like a rod screw. And then the others are belts. And mm -hmm. one of the upgrades people make to my printer is they're like, go linear rail. Yeah. Yeah, so my my uh, my X and Y are uh, V wheels with belts, mm -hmm. and my and I, I purposely spent the extra four hundred dollars to upgrade my Z axis so it wasn't belts, and so that it was linear rails with a linear 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 rails with a lead screw, and mm -hmm. uh, now they just released a the pro version of the CNC that has linear rails on the X yeah. and Y. So my like, crap, crap. If you but don't mind me asking, what was the total cost for your machine? $2,500. Ooh, what's the build area? It's 30 by 30. It's like 32 by 32, but I, I keep it to 30 by 30. Oh, is that inches? Yeah. Damn, I may have to buy one now. Yeah. Damn. And they make them smaller, too. They make down yeah. to like 16 inches by 16 inches. And I'm thinking about upgrading to... Uh, smaller on one of the axes, but it has an automatic tool changer oh, yeah, and a vacuum nice. table instead of clamp down everything. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, and that that's cool. about the same price. I, I'm going to spend a little bit more, but this has it been a very good holiday good. season for me. My first holiday season mm -hmm. as a company. So I think I'm going to upgrade. Heck yeah, do it. I'm ready for these zombers. Come on, zombers. Yeah, I'm just getting Gosh. some more murky water. Well, you're not in. You're not in the, the safety. It's not tw till twenty two hundred. Put it into safety, boys. But it's twenty hundred. Hey, I wonder if there's more corn over there. Where? I'm breaking into in the, hotel by that red barn. Food. Oh, I don't know. Oh wow. Will is 6.7 miles away. He's not going to make it back. Don't make corn anymore because it, it uses the glass bottle. Okay, so all oh, we okay. do is make corn now. I just found a bunch of... Oh, vending machines, guys. Oh, we can buy stuff at the vending machines. Perfect. Hey, Will, I what sent you a party this? invite. Oh, we should already Alpha be... 19. Oh. No, are we already... Oh, yep, there we go. I had to accept Ian's invite, which I didn't do. God, you guys have played a lot without me. Well, you weren't here last time. I know. You guys want me gift. to buy some oh shit drops? Oh, I yeah. Any, I don't have any money on me. Are you at the trader? No, you can buy large beef rations. Is it, do we have any money? <laughs> Actually, yeah, we, we, yeah, we got $54. Oh, it's sixty dollars for a large beef oh. ration. Damn! Out of this vending so machine. Oh, this I love that like I can't just wild. break into it. Yeah, it gets spooky. I've thought All about right, Will, you, come, you coming back, Will? Yeah, I'm on my way. I've thought about finally finishing Breath of the Wild. <sighs> it's good. I mean, if you only don't have the story content, I mean, the four dungeons are good, but. Yeah. The boss fight. It, who cares about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just played so much of it on the Wii U, and then when I moved, I bought on the Switch. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to break this in case a it's dog or something probably jumps about, across. about the same. Probably a good idea. Yeah, I just never went back to it. I played a little of that uh, Age of Calamity demo, and other than it running like total crap in handheld mode, um, it was pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's something about Musou games that I'm just not into. I tried playing Hyrule Warriors. Maybe it's 2200. It is 2200. I said it. Oh. It's 22 to 4. Six hours. 25 or 6 to 4. Yes, God. 25 or 6 to 4. Great song. Wearing a football helmet now. So, I mean, I saw you broke those, but I guess that means we just can't get in if we fall out. No, you just jump it. <laughs> yeah, if you... Yeah, maybe we should have something. Yeah. I mean, you can fix it if you want to have that. Yeah. I, I honestly, I honestly wasn't dog. thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. Just Even I just doing, like, the, 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 the wooden frame blocks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, exact. Uh... <laughs> Ian fell out. I fell again. I'm making 76 arrows. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, Ian. Hi. I've yeah. got 25 stone or iron arrows and six exploding arrows. Damn. I have 164 regular arrows. Where did you get all those feathers? Uh, vultures. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you were having more luck with the vultures than I was. Yeah. I, I'm i going to steal Fish. arrows from you at some point. 50 minutes, boys. I'm excited. I hope people show up. Uh, did I turn zombies on? Oh, that was that was pretty <laughs> funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I can't believe it defaults to no zombies. <laughs> no, I was so mad. Because when I first got the server, it didn't default to that. 
all of us dead. Aw, there was a light on there. <laughs> I know. Did we ever finish looting that underground place? Uh, the other one or the one underneath us? The one, the other one. Oh, y'all are here. Wow, that's a lot of zombies. That guy just <laughs> ran in and died. Oh, oh yeah, we can loot after because they're dropping backpacks. Going over here. We're gonna level up a bunch. All oh, the fat ladies. Wow. I didn't do a lot of damage. They're dancing doggies. Oh, I need to repair this. At least they're hitting the spikes. Yeah. Oh, we got guys the other direction, too. Yeah. I'm gonna check the other walls. Oh, that's pretty clear over there. Oh, they're attacking that stuff. Where are they attacking? The middle the stuff. Actually, you know what you could do is dig a huge pit, and when all the zombies are in it, you pick up the wood frame connected to the structure, and they all fall in. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not a bad idea. This is a lot of zombies. Yeah. I'm out of, I'm out of ammo. You want some arrows, Zach? Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Okay, I'm down here if you want to come grab him. I'm right here. There you go. Thanks, bud. I think right below us, that first line of spikes is gone. So yeah. they're starting to take out that second line of spikes. Yeah, I think we need to maybe double wide the uh, pit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're through the spikes. Yeah, right below me. Oh, I got an achievement. I don't know what for. You get down there, bud. The only problem is when the spikes kill them, you don't get an AXP. Oh, zombie in here. Oh, yep. Two of them. My arrow just wearing out, too. Oh, I'm dead. How did they get in here? I don't know. I'm going to go sure. check real quick.
I don't see any obvious holes in the perimeter. Do they come through the gate? I thought I was keeping an eye on that. No. Do they just spawn behind us? Do they come in? No. Yeah, I don't see any other hole. They are heavily attacking the gate now, though. Oh, yeah, I don't see where they want to come in. Oh, dang it, my backpack fell. Oh. They're attacking the gate pretty heavily. Oh, yep, they just spawn in, in here. You got a fat lady coming towards me. Oh, yeah, we got to... You saw them spawn? Yep, I saw it. I watched him spawn. Maybe we need lights to stop them from spawning? Yeah, that might make sense. Yeah, that's right. Your head exploded. Okay, two more ladies down. Will, do you have arrows left? Yeah. All right, you want to come take my spot? My spot's pretty good for hitting those guys. Got one. Oh, no, he didn't die. Okay, now he's dead. Nice. Still one up down there. Oh, yeah, I see him. Zach, dude. your back yep. fell on the outside? Yeah, it's on the outside. You can probably come around and get it real quick. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of loot out of here. Yeah, your backpack's Don't right next to me, Zach. Okay, I'm coming. Got it. Yeah, lots of good stuff out of here. I'll try to cut up this dog before uh <clears throat> I'll keep an eye out. Trying to get some of these arrows back. Oh yeah. Yeah, eventually they were just turning into bags. Maybe we're good. What do you guys think? Could be another wave. I'm gonna put more spikes down. It's gonna stink. Oh, I'm, yeah. a, I'm okay. eight arrows. I'm almost out. Yeah, wasn't it something like the original one was like seven zombies per player? Oh yeah, it might have been that. Something like that. Ooh, I got a mining helmet, guys. It's got a flashlight on it. Yay! Oh, I'm fine. You, want my fla you want my flashlight, Ian? No. I'll take your flashlight. Okay, I'll drop it. Oh, flashlight. Oh. oh. Then, yeah, I'll take I'll take the flashlight. Oh, I got it. Come on, you zombies! My character looks terrifying. It's playing happy music. Maybe we're okay. On steroids. Oh, I have a chicken take ration. It. I'm very hungry. I barely did anything. So I guess we got to look up how to prevent them from spawning inside your base. Yeah. We got to double the moat. There's 
still hungry. I mean, we gotta find food. I like these stick outs. I think we need more of these stick outs because they let you get out and more easily shoot. Yeah, I should have built more of them. That's what our old base was like. Um, yeah, they're smart. Definitely more arrows. Yeah, I think I had enough arrows. I had a hundred and something. Mm -hmm. I had 80 and I'm almost out. Yeah, I have 49 left. 50 left. I and you 100. gave me Yeah, 65. I gave you 60. I think we did it, boys. I think we did it, too. That was pretty fun. Yeah. I'm going to put more spikes down in case we didn't. Spike boy. Hi, my name is Spike boy. 20 years ago, I gave all my spikes to my grandma, and then she gave them back. Squeaky ship. Oh, almost ran off the edge. Are oh, you cutting wood? Yo, you got wood over there, boy? Uh, I want to try to figure out turrets before, uh... Oh, yeah. Before next time. Shotgun auto turret and SMG auto turret. And then there's also a robotic male. turret. Yes. Did I up? Oh, I did. Oh, the Huntsman survival perk gives you more meat mm. from animals. I'm going to take that. I think we need to go hunting. Oh, we, we have a can of sham, right? So if we do one can of sham, two potatoes, two ears of corn, we get sham chowder, which is like health 80 oh yeah that's pretty good and then i think for next time too we can reinforce the spikes another layer a couple layers with iron yeah mm -hmm. that way they last a little bit longer and also did we have we didn't have them doubled up before? Because you can place them on top of each other. Oh no! Yeah, we can't do so that. that kills them even faster. So maybe we do that and the double layer. Yeah, I think that'll work the best. I hear ominous noises. I heard that too. I didn't know what it was. I want to get that fire. Fire. Boop, boop, boop. fire. Chopping wood. Chrysanthemum. And what time is morning? Uh, four. I 
think it's time to hunt. 270? <laughs> yes, yeah. so, I, so I just got a perk that let me... When you crouch down, then animals show up on your compass. Oh. Very nice. I can take a look at animal spawn, too. Make sure we're getting... Yeah. I have an X on my compass. Is that for me? Yeah, that's for that. Can I? Let there be water. I broke open this uh, water, water, water tank. So now we, have, now we have a bunch of water over here. Oh, this looks terrible. This is called when physics don't work. Look how bad this <laughs> looks. Oh, man. Yay, we did it, boys. We survived the seventh day. It says you cannot nice breathe here. The Muppet? No. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Okay, I just looked up. Increase animal spawn. Yeah, I'll look this up after. Oops, shot an arrow. All right, Ian, let's go hunting. Oh, I'm already hunting. Oh, I'm coming to you. Are there any animals bunny. on your thing? I found a bunny. Maybe I should get that other perk. Isn't there a perk that gets me extra meat? Yeah, that's the, the survival one. It's um the huntsman. Yes. Yeah. The huntsman. Okay, so there's none around me. But I do want to work on this nitrate. How do I make a splint? Oh, wood split spl wood splitter mod. That's the thing I unlocked. Interesting. Fifteen percent more damage against wood. Oh, I need duct tape. It's only seven minutes till it's healed. Oops. Give me his arrow back. Your birds. Any luck, Zach? With what? Hunting? No, I'm looking at a house. Yeah, if you get that perk, it's pretty good. Because then it'll reveal it on your compass, and then once you get close, it pops up an icon over their head. What perk oh. was that? I can't remember. So it's under perception. I don't know what it's called though. So you see their tracks. Oh, animal basically. tracker, trail finder. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah I've my suffered next level a deep up, I'll do that. laceration. Oh no! Sorry. Basically dying. 
zombie over here. I don't think I have a bandage. Hello, lady. Oh, she jumped. I really like the sledgehammer. It's a good weapon. All right, I'm gonna head back. I have 22 meat. Twenty-two meat. Okay, I'll head back so I can cook it. Oh, damn! Back. <laughs> oh no! I hit open a door, and there was a zombie hiding behind it. And I had 13 health. What's Maggie yelling at you about? Uh, she came out of the room with uh, her laptop. Well, my laptop. And she was talking to her friend Anna. And she said, hey... Anna knows what Gundams are, so I'm going to show her your room, which is where I have <laughs> all my Gundam models. Uh, I counted up how many kits. I finally got all my kits. What? Well, okay, not all of them. I have some coming in March, but I got most of my kits delivered. And I have, between Gumpla and other model kits, I have 20 model kits right now. Jeez. Yeah. Um... Oh, there's a zombie in the base. I hit him with the blunderbuss. Yeah, I just broke out my paper models again because I think I finished. Oh yeah. Oh, it's far away. I can't <gasps> grab it. What happened? I mean, maybe it's because I hit their head, but that was a one-hit kill with oh, the blunderbuss. Nice. Um. Yeah. So we also got to figure out how to stop them goobers from coming in. Goobers. Yeah, that's our research between now and whenever we play this game next. Saturday. Thursday is cyber cyberpunk. No, Thursday is game awards. Saturday oh, is yeah, cyberpunk. That's right. I don't think we're gonna play cyberpunk on yeah, Saturday. I don't, I don't think we are either. You know what? We'll we'll plan to play seven days to die. If that one doesn't work for some reason, we'll play cyberpunk on Saturday and I'll host it. Okay. Okay, and then dump, 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 dump. I need to yeah, this blunderbuss ammo is good stuff. Yeah, if you could cook me some food, please. You got out of the fire, I could do it. Go ahead. I hate you. No, I can hear it, right? <laughs> you want boiled meat or grilled meat? Got him. Grilled meat. Good stuff. Where's all the... Uh tokens and stuff oh there they are wait i thought we had like seventy five thousand tokens we do oh are they is it in a different thing probably can you make me bacon and eggs we don't have any eggs i got you 
one or two eggs. I think there's one egg. I think I need two. Oh yeah, the 7500 is down here. Oh, there's steel tool parts down here. Two ill parts. All right, I'm done with this house. Which way did you go? You went over there. Yeah, I went south. There's that whole city we walked past. By where the treasure is? Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to head that way. Which direction is that? It's uh, uh, past you. I'm on. It's east, southeast. Okay. All right, so what's what's the plan? It's We're going to widen the moat and put another layer of spikes on top? Yeah, widen the moat and a double layer of spikes. Okay. For the, for the, when we widen the moat, do we have to go down two, or can I just put one down? Can I just go down one? Oh, just go down one. Over one, okay. down one. Down one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I can't really do it on the front by the gate because it's the road. Oh, uh, that's true. Uh, Then just double stack over there. Yeah. I gotta get a repair kit too. Fix my ranch. Oh. I heard a gun. That was me. Did you do the blunderbuss? Yeah. Do you like it? It's pretty nice. I think it's gonna attract every zombie in the area, but yeah. that's true. Good. But Ian's right, at least on seven night, seven days nights. Seven days nights? I'm going to... Um... No, I think we're fine for now. Oh, hey. I want to go check out this town. Oh, that's funny. So I have a sprained, or a, it says broken bone. So it's counting down until it's healed. But every time I sprint, it counts back up. <laughs> yeah. I, I, didn't, I don't think it used to do that. That's neat. Because I was wondering why it wasn't counting down so fast. Yeah. Now I'm Sisyphus bound to hell. Oh, I forgot I had a big swingy swing. <laughs> you still with me, Zach, or are you going back? I'm behind. I'm guessing at some point we should get into mining. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Ooh, mining. So, that would iron. iron. And then with iron, I guess we could just make. Steel. We won't use wood as much because we'll do iron spikes and stuff. Yeah. Zach loves mining. I do. It's my favorite. <laughs> oh, a strawberry plant. Strawberry Gandalf. Okay, let me check out this town a little bit, and then uh, we can probably call it for today. For tonight. Oh, yeah, this is where you guys hunted that elk that one time. Oh, uh, yeah, that we never got. Oh, no, we, we did. It. Took us forever, but we got it. I'm so forget. You think Ian R.L. Gibson forget elk? 
That's gonna be dangerous. Ooh, there's spikes. Spikes already. Oh! <laughs> Woman! I hate nurses. Just broke through it's that nurse door. Eye. No, I broke the door. Oh. oh. I hear yeah, another boys. zombie. I'm really liking this blunderbuss. I'll search the sink and the toilet. And the trees and the grass. Oh. I'm searching the attic. So yeah. I think it's three hits to the body to kill with the blunderbuss. Of one hit to the head. Where's that zombie? There's two over here. Oh, oh man, of stamina. Whew. Man, nothing good. Oh, here's a cardboard box. Still nothing good. Oh, a bunch of bullets. I found three bucks on a couch. What did I just pick up? Weighted head mod schematic. Cool. Learned how to do it. Oh. Zombie. Yeah. I might. I don't have a lot of health left. I have a bandage if you want it. No, I'm not hurt. Just emotionally. You know what? I'll tell you yeah. this. I'm a little upset that you can search items. And they show them as untouched, and then they end up being empty. Yeah. You know? I, I tend to think of it as there. it's not necessarily empty. There's just nothing worthwhile inside. Yeah. Well, I'm running out of here. Yeah, that's fine. It is becoming quickly a nightmare in here. Oh, crap. I'm locked. I, I've locked myself in. Oh, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm going out a window. Zach, I'll, I'll escort you over if you come meet up with me. Yeah. Can you bring me some water, though? Oh, no, I can't. Wow. Found some bullets. Oh, that's a lady. And that's my exit. Hi, right, lady. I do have some steroids. Take them. Get them. Uh, there's no water. Oh, there's water right there. Good night, Karen. Good night, Karen. Have fun in Dreamtown. Good night, Karen. Yeah, that building sucked. Yeah. And I got all the way down to the basement, which are where all the zombies were. Yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. That was a way out. I do like how most of these houses are built. Uh, like, the way they crafted them, where, like... There's definitely a way to go through them, but you can also just break down a wall. Oh, oh, oh. All right, well. Yeah, just Mr. Cowboy Zombie scared the crap out of me.
Oh, that's a flat out miss. Come here. What is she? Okay, let's just keep going. She crazy. I I felt like I was missing her, but then the last shot, I was definitely right on her, and she was walking away from me, and she just didn't care. She was busy. All right, let's get your backpack and skedidosh. Yeah. That's stamina. Oh, come on, lady. Prowl and Pete's. Bird's nest. Thanks. Zach, you have a waypoint to your thing, right? Yep. Cool. I want to make sure I wasn't losing the house in case you needed it. A lot of houses. Oh, Ian, are you are you coming? Sorry, I just ran ahead. No, I was I was crafting something. Okay, I'm coming up behind you. Okay. It's kind of like a maze, so there's only kind of one way to go. Okay. Okay. Up okay. into the attic. Okay. And then we go down here. I hear zombies. Yep. Oh yeah, okay. there's a zombie. Okay, Hi, watch zombie. Out. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Nice. Okay. Now I gotta go down here. Okay. Look at those spikes. Too dead. Okay. And then mine's all the way down to the basement, which I know are, there's a lot of zombies. So here, why don't I draw them up to you? Where'd you go? Okay. Can you grab your stuff and we run? Oh, there's like, yeah, there's tons of zombies. There's one, two, three. Bringing them to you. Jeez. Oh, okay. Watch out. One down. Two down. Two down. Uh, and then a ground guy. I think this guy may be done. Yeah, I need repairs on this. Oh wait, my why does my backpack say it's up there? It's definitely Ooh, found a level repair. five stone shovel. Okay, I'm just bringing him up the stairs. I can't hit him with a okay. blunder bus. No worries. My backpack apparently is up here. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, hello. Uh, do you have an axe on you? Yes. Can I borrow it real quick? It says my backpack is in the ground. Oh, no. I I dropped oh, no. Yeah, there we go. Roof gave out. A bunch of zombies landed. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it fell. Got it. All right. There's a chicken inside. Get the chicken. Got him. He was just sitting on top of this toaster. Wow, there's a ton of guns and stuff in here if you want. Really? I'm coming down. There's another blunderbuss. Oh, no. Ooh, I do need it. 
Where are you in the going? gun safe? No, just in in that reinforced chest. Heck yeah! Coming over to you guys. I am encumbered. Yeah, me too. Dropping that stone spear because I don't need it. Drink that. Don't need that. Yeah, Blunderbuss is great. I know, I wish I never got rid of my original. Well, I have, I have an extra now. Ooh, that was a mistake. Oh. Oh. Am I in the wrong house? Okay, I'm encumbered, so I'm going to try and go back. Oh, I was in the wrong house. Breaking into the wrong house. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today, right? Yeah, let's head back, deposit, and call it. Yeah, that works for me. What's going on with my stomach? Efficient digestion. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Run it back. Maybe I'll try and get some. The thing they did with the hunting. Like it's a design choice and I understand it. But so when I do the animal tracks, I don't think it's giving me a chance of spawning in more animals. It's just letting me know animals that have already spawned in nearby. Yeah. Uh, I'll look into increasing the spawn for the next problem. time. Yeah. I can edit the XML. I was looking at it. Because we've only seen one elk. Yeah, it's not a presented option, but I think I can just increase it. I don't like my squeaky shift key. I forget I how I fixed new it last time. Oh, you know what? I have a new mechanical keyboard if you want it. it was It's another thing that came out of my father's. I bought too many things and never used them stash. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's that microphone, wasn't there? Yes. Have that. Oh, and you know what? I have the monitor. Remember, I have, I have a two monitor arm, a vertical. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I have to give you your yes. GoPro stuff back. Yeah, so at some point. Oh, this. Oh, you guys have sounded the zombie alarm. I'm okay with that. Ladies. Shots of blunderbuss. I'll take the skinny one. I'll take the fat one. Oh, she did. Wow, she took that. <laughs> that was a lot to take. <laughs> yeah, I think with the blunderbuss, it's like between one to four shots, depending on where you hit and what how beefy the zombie is. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And the ammo seems pretty easy to make as well. It's just the repair part that... Oh, I'm starving now. Annoying. Ugh. Oh, you repair with the short iron pipe. We got plenty of those. Ooh, look, I found this. Rotten flesh. Woohoo! Rotten flesh is helpful for the... Farm plots. Soil. Yeah. Soiled? Sale. See, if this game was very realistic, we could just collect our urine and feces and use that for the soil. Wait, you... So what you normally do at home? Yes. I was already I doing that. Remember, <laughs> like the, the ultra green thumbs, as well as like survivalist handbooks where they're like, first thing you got to do when things start looking bad, you need to start 
You need to start pooping and pissing in your garden. (laughs) Do it. Trust me. Do it. Come spring, you'll be happy. Well, she get used to the smell. It's amazing how gross that sounds, but we do that with cow poop. Yeah. Yeah, but cow poop's delicious. Oh, that smell in the spring when they spread the the manure out? Mm. All over the country. I spread it on my face. I remember one of my teachers in high school said that his proudest moment in life was when he he worked at a cow farm for a summer. Inseminated a cow. And he collected all the manure, and he's like, we put it in a pile behind the barn, and I made a 30-foot pile of manure. And he's like, I took a picture of it. Now that's a man who's proud. He did it all by hand over the summer. Oh, by hand. All right, I'm okay, going to kill this. Three lady. eggs. Because I'm definitely going to get... I'm definitely about to level up. Bacon and eggs, just for you, Ian. Bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs. Let me know when I should stop. Folks, if you enjoyed this bacon and eggs song, you can see more of it at subpixelfilms.com. Folks, we are subpixel. Uh, we were uh, streaming some bacon and eggs here today i hope you enjoyed it i had a good time i like seven days to die uh ian if people want to find you more on the internet and hear more of your bacon and eggs rendition where could they go you can find me on twitter at think gibson lately i've been posting about uh what else gundam and gunpla perfect stuff uh zach if people want to find you where could they find you uh just stressing about the holidays making maps for people on Instagram at topside.llc. Perfect. And you can find me on Twitter at Hunt270. You can find all of our content if you go to subpixelfilms.com. They'll bring straight to our YouTube channel where we archive pretty much everything except for Extra Life this year. Uh, you can also find our weekly, tri weekly, tri weekly stream, live streams. That's the word I'm looking for on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Thursday, we are going to be watching the Game Awards. So that'll be fun. And then Saturday, we'll probably be playing more Seven Days to Die. I do not know know what time. time. I'm going to look it up real quick. Let's look that up real quick. Other than that, uh, just check out our content. Um, And once Ian tells us all this time, then we're all going to leave. Hey, guys. You know? We will turn around. (gasps) Oh, baby. I got you an office chair. Thank you. The front page of their website does not say when it is. Okay, let me click the watch tab. It says the date, but it does not say the date. Okay, it starts at... No. No, that can't be right. No, come on. Well, if you had to guess what time... I'm going to say there's a pre-show. It starts 30 minutes before the main event. What time does the pre-show start? 530 it starts at 6 30 p.m eastern time oh doesn't it usually start at like nine but that means it'll be done by like 10 right Hopefully. well what time is the actual that's the pre-show starts at 6 30 i think it show I, so i think it starts at seven. Oh no it went like nine to midnight last year i'm pretty sure but this means it's gonna go seven to ten okay i'm okay with that then i'm gonna double check real quick i think i'm gonna buy like a 40 on the way home Last time I bought a 40, I played Super Mario Maker by myself, finished the 40 in like four hours, and then just felt awful for a day. I got the beer <laughs> squirts. Oh, I hate the beer 6 30 p.m. Eastern. So I think maybe we start streaming at 6 30 because it says the pre show starts 30 minutes before the event, but it's not clear if the 6 30 includes the pre show or not. I think we start streaming at 6.30. How does that sound? Six th- you're hosting, right? Yeah, I'll host it. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Um, thank you, folks. It's going to be it from us over on the uh, on the East Coast. Uh, West Coast should be picking it up soon. 
So just uh, you know, it stay, stay on, and they'll they'll be here. <laughs> so just wait for them. Just wait. Just hold on. Just, they'll be just here. Hold on. <laughs> we'll be right here. Six a.m. Cyberpunk. So they'll be here in three hours. Three just hours. Hold on. <laughs> just hold on. They'll be here. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>